Welcome back everyone to River and Sea where today we are being attacked by a prowler. But on top of that, we are searching for boar. Uh, maybe this is one of the ones that I need. Hello? We make a delectable dinner for the people at the ranger camp? Apparently so. I think we are going to bring home the bacon. Pretty close to literally. And make sure that the links don't get in our way. And perhaps we can find out if there's anything else that the people at Tornhod are going to be needing before we head on to our way and Look for a new land to help. I think this should be enough for me. Hello, Maythorn. Greetings. Oh, hello. Uh, please tell me that you have something that I can serve for dinner. Oh my, this is better than I could have done myself by far. Thank you so much. I still have much to do before my home is ready for my parents, but at least dinner is possible now. Well, if you will excuse me, I have much yet to do. Alright, and what do we got here? A stout trinket of a recovered or, or a clever one. Do I want to be clever or do I want to be stout? Uh, well, let's try being clever. Ooh, so close to 45. I think that's it. Or is it possible that I missed someone? Hmm. Uh, hello? All who desire friendship with the Dynodyne must accept the simple truth. There is always more work to be done than there are hands to do it. If you offer your help with the Rangers, expect them to take you upon it. My name is... I'm with and I am the armor master of Tornhod. Rangers favor medium armor made of leather and hides over the heavier plate worn by the knights of other lands. This then is my request to you. Bring me leather and hides from Avanc, wolves, and lynxes that can be found throughout the angle. Oh, be careful not to mark too badly the skins that you bring to me. I need relatively intact hides if I am to make armor at suitable quality for those sworn to Aragorn, our chief. Okay. Collect hides from wolves or wargs. Collect hides from lynxes and collect leather from Avonk. Ooh. And... Oh. Oh. Hello there, Gorwin. It is good to see you outside Tengerthard, far from the unquiet keep of Dol Ernia. Gorwin emotions at the cairn built nearby. Those stones mark the sacrifice of those Dunedain who fell at Sarn Ford and in Tyr Gorthod at the end of September. Whenever I return to Tornhod, I make some time to come here and remember those that we lost. All right. And we get the bent ring of the fallen scratch. Okay, we'll we'll decide after we do what request she has. Farewell. My thoughts keep turning to Meneldir. Could Meneldir have been saved? If I had kept him from searching in the Grey Fear, if I had sent him from the campsite when he first arrived, <laughs> no, not even Binding Meneldir would have probably kept him from seeking out uh, old Carlton's great enemy. Ah, perhaps not, Pine C. He was stubborn, wasn't he? But kind of a friend. And he must have made friends in the South, hadn't he? He did not live as a hermit, surely. Well, 
I tell Goran that when I first met him, he had taken it upon himself to safeguard the folk of Mossward, a small village in the edge of Swanfleet. You speak of his friendship with the village's blacksmith, a dwarf named Scardy Benblade, and of how you and Menelder sought to prevent the children of Mossward from getting into mischief, mostly unsuccessfully. Menelder always said that he was not very good with children, but in your exper my experiences, they seem to be fascinated with him. Corwin smiles. I am glad, Pinesy, and I thank you for these memories. Remembering can be painful, but perhaps it can bring peace at, as well. Alright, so now we decide which of these we want. A G Ooh, nice upgrade! But not enough in which to put me over that 35, 45 level. But we do have to collect some hides. Well, some of the links like to keep stealthy, but... I suspect it won't be too much trouble to find some of them anyway. The place seems to have quite a number of them. They didn't want us to do anything with Kriban, if I recall correctly. Hold on. Someone's sneaking about here. There you go. That's two links. Oops. Eh, maybe I don't want to go that way. I see a wolf up ahead. That'll be, we also need wolf pelts, right? And I hope that wasn't a pet of the Quan Luth or anything like that. Ah! Another lynx. Oh yes, I need to find the Avak. Ah! I see an Avak tail. Well, let's see if we can get a good hide from that Avak. Are there any more of them in this area? If not, I'll have to go further up the river. Just one more Avak, and I'll be set. There we go. Now, let's bring the hides to the rangers. Will this do? These will do very nicely, Pinesy. I thank you for these hides on behalf of the Dinadine, and name you a friend of Tornhod. Well, it's good to hear that now. That's... A nice earring. Whee! And that concludes our time in the angle, but I'm level 45 now, and I think there is a class quest that we need to investigate. Now we just need to figure out what out of the way location has the class trainer and Apparently, I missed a quest somewhere. Hello there. It is time you learn more of the ways of the Mariner, my friend. I think I found them. Usually, the level 45 quest giver is way out of the way, but apparently, he was right in my path this time. It's time that you learn more about the ways of the Mariner, Pine Sea. In my youth, I spent many years among the elves of Imladris, and I learned much from them and from their many visitors. An elf of the Grey Havens called Galdor has come to Imladris, and I am certain that his wisdom would be a great boon to you and your journey as a mariner. But before a meeting can be arranged, however, you must be suitably prepared and outfitted. To this end, you shall have need of equipment that better reflects your skill as a mariner and also the good that you do for the people of Middle-earth, my friend. It would be my honor to fashion for you a weapon of fine and a fine piece of jewelry by which to represent your prowess. But I must give to you this cautionary word. These implements and articles will not 
be easily earned, for I shall task you with a number of trials to collect materials of worth to aid in the creation. Only when you have finished each and every one of my trials shall you receive the rewards that I have promised you. For only then shall you prove yourself a mariner befitting them. Such was the test that was laid before me in my youth, and so too shall it be to you. Wonderful. If perhaps you don't understand how each of these materials I shall demand relate to each other, then allow me to explain before you ask, my friend. These materials shall serve me twofold. For some of them shall be put to use to craft your weapon and jewelry, and others to prove your worth as a mariner and as one worthy of such equipment. If we are understood, let us begin! So we have implements of navigation and articles of ingenuity. Right. Okay. Articles of ingenuity. A mariner must always strive for balance. This is true upon the rivers and seas of Middle-earth, and it is also true in the manner of one's appearance. Simple garb is oft of great use when undertaking duties upon a ship, but for a mariner, the wearing of fine jewelry is a long-held tradition. Indeed, I can fashion for you a suitable piece of jewelry that you might share in this proud tradition, but first, you must find the materials that I seek. Okay. For your first task in this trial, I require two things. But one has need of further explanation. I have heard word that a man of Angmar named Torkhadal Wild Eye has taken up with the brigands and half orcs of Felgarth. I don't know why he has come to the angle of Mythethil, but I fear that it bodes ill. For it seems long bit since the realm of Angmar has troubled this land. He carries in his possession a curious object called a spyglass, and it is said that it grants its wielder the sight of the elves. I don't know if he means to sway new allies into the service of the Iron Crown, or searches for some relic long lost in the war between Angmar and Arnor, but it matters not. I need not explain that Torkhadal is unwelcome in the angle of uh, Mithethel, and his spyglass could prove a great boon to the Dunedain, so I ask that you retrieve it, my friend. In addition, I require a number of hooked avant teeth. That will be a simpler errand, surely, for they can be found throughout the angle of Mithethel. Yes, I've killed a few avant myself here, all right. After you have finished this task, I must ask you to venture further afield, for the materials I shall need next cannot be found in the angle. Now, that's interesting, because usually, not only do you have to go out of your way in order to find the trainer, but you have to go way, way out of your way in order to get the objects in question. But, yes, get it right here where you're at already, against monsters you've already fought. Boy, you're late treating the mariners well. Ah, but what about the implements of navigation? What do I do to go here? Go to Umbar, perhaps? Is not a weapon yet another tool of navigation? It is true enough that one can guide you to the end of conflict or conversation. <laughs> I can fashion for you a fine weapon, one befitting a mariner of your skill, but first... I will need you to bring me a number of materials. I must warn you, though, this shall be no simple task, my friend. It would mean be more difficult than killing an Angram and collecting teeth off of Bavak. All right. For your first task of this trial, I shall require two materials. First, I will need a cask of the foul fire oil carried by the orc Thronkash, who roams near the ruins of Ithildir. And second, I have need of a number of steel water flasks carried by half-orcs and brigands here in the angle of Mithethil. Despite our best efforts, they have maintained an encampment in the ruins of Thelgarth, so it will not be difficult to find them. And anyway, there's someone there I need to kill in order to get a spyglass, right? Well, yes, that too. After you have brought me these, I will task you with the material 
safety rules that must be gathered farther afield in less hospitable lands. Less, less hospitable lands. All right, how about this, say? A haversack of navigation or a blade of navigation. Okay. And for some reason, the haversack requires a minimum level of 48. No, no, why? But I think it is time for us to head on out and find these. Oh, and remove that quest from the list so that I don't get pointed back to the quest giver. The road appears to always be leading back to Thelgarth. I think this is my third trip here. Well, oh, we've got the usual suspects over here. Well, these guys might have some. Water flask, good. Well, hey, I could save myself a bit of a trip if I knew I needed this stuff earlier. Ignoring all those water flasks the last time I was here. Hi, you have any water flasks? Ooh, a nifty one too. Maybe this will tell me all about the history of water flasks. This Torquedal will probably be at a good place to use a spyglass. Well, there's enough mist here that that may not be the case over here. But it certainly gives a nice view. Torquedal Wild Eye. Elite? <laughs> well, that may make it a little tough. Elite, level 4. 50. Well, let's see if I could get to him. Elite, five levels above me. Hmm. Well, he did say it was going to be tough. If I wind up back at the red circle, then... I wait a couple of levels, right? Yeah. Well, let's see. And boom, boom. Hey, on guard. Oh, actually, I'm surviving this. Okay. There you go. Actually, I should get out of that. All right. A bit wimpy for an elite. I mean, five levels above me, elite. <laughs> I think he's overrated. Ah, now, let's get a few more of these flasks. I'm on my way to Thorngloch, but there seem to be a couple of these avonk along the way. And yes, they do have avonk teeth. I, I guess that should be no surprise. I need 18 of their teeth. I can't take more than one tooth from the same bank. Why are they very, very specific on which tooth it is? Oh, you're not in a bank. Ah, here we are at his hill, dear. And I'm given the impression that he is to the east of that spot. Why? I don't know. Maybe I have to go through there. Well, I guess that should be no surprise. Okay, let's go inside and hang a right and kill a couple of orcs. Hey, do you have any avant teeth on you? I guess not. Raku yourself. Now, let's see. Oh, that would be going this way then. Ah, the ruins themselves turn to the right. Okay. Oh, up here.
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they all say. Oh, hello. I am looking to... Hold on. Level 50 Elite. So you're going to be the same type of level 50 Elite I faced last time, meaning no trouble at all. Alright, I might as well take care of you guys also. I certainly don't need any extra helpers while I'm going through the tough part of the battle. Oh! You said something about glowing? There you go. Now. Ah, well, I suppose I'm going to have to let that simmer off. Let's see how am I doing on everything? I am properly motivated. Good. Let's make sure I'm properly fed. Alright. Actually, the scrolls are already on anyway. Okay, now, anything else I need before I head on and charge? Maybe I should have gotten rid of that poison first. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that might have been a good idea. Poke. Good. Now, let that heal up. Get that through, get that through. Poke you again. Get that again. Get rid of the poison. Let's drink a bottle. Good. You're going to go down anytime soon? Thank you! Ah. Well now, I guess I just have to find that, find a few more of Vonk and I'll be set! If you need 18 of Vonk teeth, then come to a place with a plethora of these things. I'll probably have them all in no time. Assuming I don't get fatigued by all of this poison here. Next. And you? It doesn't help that we have these oath breakers here also. I am back. Excellent work, my friend. <laughs> I'm glad to know that Torquador Wild Eye will no longer trouble the Junodyne here in the Angle. And it pleases me that you are able to recover the spyglass. What a curious tool! And do not worry, those of Vonk Teeth will still have use in my design. For the next set of materials, I'll need coiled spider spinnerets for the spiders, such as those found in Akbar and other dangerous lands. I also require a number of unyielding drake scales from the dragon kind of Akbar and the lost realm of Moria. Okay? From Moria. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Also. Very good, my friend. These will do nicely, and there is more to be done yet. For the next materials I require, you will need to travel to the lands of Angmar. I must ask you to gather several beaks from the venomous dread turtles of Malinhod, and you must also bring me a collection of corrosive droplets from the brimstone leeches that dwell amongst the befouled f waters of Duvuinen. Well, 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 look at that. He needs me to go to Angmar, into that infested place. Where else will I be able to find all of these materials? Of course, I could always find a friendly elf that might have gone to Angmar himself, right? How may I be of service to you? I was wondering whether or not you had on you any coiled spider spinnerets. Coiled spider spinnerets. Oh boy, this is... Oh, hold on, let's see, we've got corroded, burning, corrosive, oh yes. The biggest challenge here is going to find it in all of this mess. 
Oh yes, I can narrow it down to minor class items. So now, if I need to find Venomous a Dread Turtle, whatever those things, then I could just come to here. I need ten of those. That's two sets. And then Corrosive Droplets. Corrosive... Why could they put these in alphabetical order? I have absolutely no idea, but those were way at the beginning, so we could take care of that. And finally, Unyielding Drake Skulls. Now, of course, I know what's coming next. And that is, of course, the major items. And no, uh, I didn't remember what the major items are, but... Emblem of Ritual says this trophy is sought by lore masters, mariners, and minstrels. Why are mariners look for it? Because it's in the next stage of the quest. I'm back. Oh, what do you mean I didn't have time to go to Angmar yet? Well, here are the items anyway. You have done well. <laughs> Each of these materials will serve to adorn the jewelry I craft for you. But there are still two items I require. And each of them will do much to prove your worthiness as a mariner. For the final set of materials, you must collect an emblem of ritual from the Uruk, Mothrang, who resides in the Orc Fortress of Ugurgarth. But that is not all, my friend. You must also bring me the medallions of passage from the Uruk Uro, who dwells in the walls of Karndum. Only then shall I count your task as finished. You mean, like these things? I am most impressed. You have performed admirably in the task I set before you. And no doubt can remain that you have proven your worthiness of this reward. It's amazing how you did that without even leaving my side. Well, you're amazing both as a mariner and as a protector of the free peoples of Middle-earth. Let this fine piece of jewelry serve as a reminder of your skills and ingenuity as a mariner. In my, in my ability to get elves to help me, I guess. Alright, let's see. We need either a bracelet. That's a major step up. And a... Hmm. Alright, let's try the bracelet. And... Title awarded. Even keeled. Huh. <laughs> All right, what else now? Well done, my friend. Now, there are still two more items I require, and these shall be the most challenging of all. Well, they wouldn't have to look anything like these two items. You have proven yourself a most worthy mariner, my friend, and so it is my honor to present you with this weapon. May it serve you well in your journeys. All right, thank you. Now I have a choice between a blade of navigation, which is a nice improvement here. Yeah, I think I should do that. Especially considering that I can't use the haversack for another three levels. I think I know where I could get another haversack. Your skill and determination are admirable, my friend. And as promised, I have arranged for you an audience with Galdor of the Havens. I made the acquaintance of Galdor's master, Círdan, in my youth, and it was a meeting I shall never forget. I could spend several of my lifetimes in my, his tutelage, and I had still would be fall many centuries short of the breadth of his knowledge of the sea. Ah, <sighs> but I digress. It is my understanding that Gildor's errand will soon take him far afield. Galdor's, yes. E so if you cannot find him in the last homely house, perhaps he might be found nearer to Lord Elrond's stables in Imladris. Well, I shall go to Imladris and find out. The hint about the stables is most useful, considering that that is exactly where I arrived. And this must be Galdor. It is my understanding that you have come to seek guidance in the way of the Mariner. Indeed, I can offer you that, my friend. In some small measure, at least. My lesson is this. 
The path of the mariner is one of calm and hardship, of song and storms. Balance is a skill like any other, and there are many paths by which it might be achieved. But no mariner should fear to stray from it in times of need. The sea tasks one to perform with perfect mastery, favoring those with a sharp mind and a swift hand. And a mariner must find harmony with its tide and currents, for those who do not will soon meet their doom. Perhaps you will spend much time upon the rivers and seas of Middle-earth, or perhaps you will not. But consider my words none the less. Alas, my time in Imladris must soon come to an end. I wish you good fortune in your journey as a mariner, Pine Sea, and I applaud your efforts on behalf of the free peoples of Middle Earth. I regret that I cannot remain in Imladris to offer you more lessons, for the errand is one of great importance and urgency, but perhaps our paths shall cross again ere I return to the Grey Havens. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. And that takes care of our level 45 quest. And that means it is time for us to go to our next area. And that is going to be Moria. Yes, I know. There is no river or sea in Moria. Actually, there might be a couple of underground rivers there. But it is certainly not the dominant factor that you find there. But we're going to need some item of legend. And we'll be starting that in our next episode of River and Sea.